Beauty Life Hacker with a cute care must must do top three tips. So for anyone who's a new grad or a cute care fieldwork student, whether it's occupational, physical, speech therapy, these are gonna be very, very relevant tips to you. So stay tuned and please do be sure to like and subscribe to our growing OT Life Hacker channel that is OT and positivity. Yahoo! And also find me on Instagram and TikTok. I do for fun, but you can find me on there too. And I'll put other videos, resources that are important for you in the link um, in the description box. You'll find those links. So feel free to take a look there. Okay, extremely, extremely important tips. Starts us off with, I'm sure if you did your field work in acute care or even if you're starting off and people are, um, other therapists are showing you around, precautions are going to be a number one must big thing safety tips say for example the person had just the patient had just had surgery whether it's hip surgery or heart surgery you don't want the area being irritated infected opening up all of that so it is important that when you are doing your therapy with the patient you follow the precautions and i'll have a video to come that goes into the depth of all the things you need to know about precautions, the brace, the doctor's orders, this one right here. And when that video is ready, I'll put it in the description box below. Okay, so next we have make sure that the person, if they have to have a cervical collar or if they have to have a back brace, knee brace, what have you, make sure you have it on or well on when they get out of bed or whenever they're supposed to have it on and doctor's orders so not only do I mean by doctor's orders you know um, that they have to have the brace on for activity when they're out of bed uh, or having the bed at a certain angle such as if they have like um, had something with the brain sometimes you might have to have the bed elevated to 30 degrees and so I also mean look at the nutrition part look at the dietary restrictions and maybe it's in the doctor's note or maybe it's in another section but that's important because what if a patient asks you oh can I have water can I have food um, when's my lunch coming sometimes they might not know that they're not supposed to have food and you might accidentally bring them something to drink or um, uh, eat so be very very careful with that one and then set up the room and equipment and catheter internal or external so by that I mean make sure that the room <clears throat> if you have lines and wires say for example you have the telemetry you know for measuring the oxygen and heart rate and all that blood pressure um, all that attached to it there's gonna be a lot of wires you have to fumble with so well rather than fumble with it have it all set up before the person gets out of bed so that means moving everything to where they're gonna get out so they don't get tangled in the wires when they get up out of bed and then that also includes the IV. Make sure if you're getting the person out of bed, you have the IV unplugged, ready to go. And that way, when the person gets up, say for example, maybe they're a little impulsive or they get up really fast and start moving really fast. Maybe we can call that motivated. <laughs> then make sure that you're ready to take care of all of that. If they need a wheelchair or walker, have it set up appropriately. Wheelchair, do they need a cushion? Do they have all the footrests on? Um, the walker, is it set to the appropriate height for them? Ask them what's their height. And you know, if you're still new, you'll kind of get a sense as you get through um, more and more 
over time, over time, you'll get a sense of what height fits with what level on the walker. But either way, when you're doing everything, make sure you're confident. Make sure you just show that you know what you're doing so and you're competent so that the person you're working with doesn't feel like, oh my gosh, does this person know what they're doing? They're gonna have this walker be my foundation and it looks like they don't know how to set this thing up. So something very important for fieldwork students. Then monitor vitals. Sometimes the patient might seem um, like they're not doing so well. Uh, say for example, they're feeling dizzy or or lightheaded or they look like they're starting to um, sweat, make sure you're monitoring those vitals. Look at the blood pressure, look at from baseline to just throughout the session, how is the blood pressure looking? And then heart rate, for example, doctor's orders sometimes say you can't have the, the heart rate go over a certain number. So make sure you're monitoring those vitals. And again, this is all for patient safety and also for your safety and for you to not get fired from your job. Yay! <laughs> Okay, so if you found that helpful, guys, please do subscribe, like, choo -choo, and um, keep a watch out for the new videos to come on Acute Care. Find me on Instagram if you want to send me a message, uh, ask questions. Feel free to. I am there. Okay, see you guys later. Bye-bye.